New Zealand Intelligence and Security Bill intends to introduce greater transparency and oversight of the intelligence and, intelligence and security agencies in New Zealand and the society supports that intention and it thinks that the bill is a positive step in that direction. There are some areas um, where some of the provisions could be changed or some of the protection and oversight measures could be strengthened but overall the society thinks it's a step in the right direction. There's obviously always a tension between the pursuit of national security goals and individual privacy and there's always going to be some intrusion into privacy um, in that space. The society's position is that as much as possible um, adequate safeguards need to be put in place to protect individual privacy and we've made um, this morning some submissions to the select committee about how some of the tests um, could best articulate that. We've also made a couple of standalone suggestions to that end. Um, for instance, we've suggested that there should be a general principle in the bill that information should be collected in the uh, least intrusive means possible and that open source collection should be preferred where that's possible. We've also suggested that it would be useful to have yearly reporting on where intelligence agencies um, gather information from other government databases. The concept of national security is central to the bill. One of the ways that that's the case is that in the main, to get a warrant to conduct um, what we might describe as espionage activities or spying activities in respect to New Zealanders or permanent residents is by establishing that that's necessary for the protection of national security. And if that's to be meaningful, the society's submission is that there should be a robust definition of national security in the bill. There's a definition in at the moment, but the government has signalled it's considering not defining national security and leaving that to the assessment of those individuals that are responsible for authorising warrants in particular cases. The society doesn't favour that approach because we don't think that it gives real content to the national security threshold and therefore we support the retention of the definition in the bill.